Time now for the morning rush. APD is still looking for a second suspect connected to the mugging of a corn vendor. In August, Galen Cohen was mugged while selling corn for Schwebach Farms. Cohen told police that he noticed one of the suspects carrying a Smith's grocery bag later found near the crime scene. Now, police used the receipt inside and surveillance video to arrest one suspect, Tori Burdex. This morning, police still investigating a deadly shooting on Albuquerque's west side. Police say just before 8 last night, officers were called to Middle Lake Place. That's near Montano and Unser. On scene, officers found a victim had been shot. He was rushed to UNMH where he later died. We'll bring you updates on air and online at KRQE.com. Erica. This morning we're starting out pretty chilly across the state, so make sure you are bundling up for now. But by later on this afternoon, everyone in the state is expecting a warm up. Many of us in the 60s and even approaching 70s to the east. So we are going to be warming up, but then by tomorrow, we'll cool back down on the east side of the state. In just a few moments, the first public hearing will get underway for the ongoing impeachment inquiry. House lawmakers are scheduled to question key witnesses if the White House pressured the Ukraine's president to investigate political rivals. Democrats say that the next round of hearings will continue on Friday. An Albuquerque man facing charges accused of exposing himself in a UNM parking garage. A woman told police yesterday morning that she parked inside the Lomas parking garage and a man parked next to her. She says the driver, who police identified as Justin Sanchez Martinez, was touching himself. Sanchez Martinez was arrested yesterday. The number of hate crimes reported between 2017 and 2018 jumped from 7 to 28. Here in the New Mexico, the experts tell the New Mexican, although the crimes are not violent, the increase in incidents is still alarming. The report found that 50% of the hate crimes targeted the black community, with a continued increase in crimes against Hispanics. This morning, dozens of state police officers heading back to their usual posts. Late last month, those state police assigned 40 officers to Belen as part of an intense operation to lower property crime numbers. In all, police made 51 felony arrests, 81 misdemeanor arrests. Officers also met with citizens and business owners to address their concerns. Concerns. The council that oversees New Mexico's prison system wants state lawmakers to take action as juvenile detention centers across the state continue to close. In the last 15 years, seven of the state's 14 juvenile detention centers have closed. Officials say that's forcing authorities to take juveniles hours away from their families to other facilities. Erica. Metro threat index is staying very low for today. We have quiet weather in store, but temperatures are starting out chilly in the 20s, so bundle up. Ahead of the 2020 census, state officials are really pushing hard to ensure accurate counting. Even tossing more money at it, officials fear an undercount could threaten federal spending in the state. Earlier this year, lawmakers announced about $3.4 million would be set aside to get participation in rural and hard-to-reach communities. Now an additional $8 million is being offered up. A panel of state lawmakers are meeting today, hearing testimony about the benefits of recreational marijuana use. Legislators are sizing up the potential tax income. An Albuquerque medical cannabis manufacturer estimates statewide recreational marijuana sales at about $450 million a year. That's four times the amount of the current medical market bringing in. This morning, DOT trying to find ways to alleviate all of this traffic congestion related to the construction on Highway 550. Pernalillo residents say over the weekend they sat in traffic for at least an hour. Transportation officials now say they're working on putting out weekly updates to let drivers know of upcoming issues. Well, Sunas is hosting a flu shot clinic today. Be aware of this. The event is from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. at the Public Health Office on Camino del Rey. The vaccine is free for children and uninsured adults while supplies do last. Health officials recommend that children, people over 50, and others with a high risk of catching the virus get vaccinated. Local fans are buzzing this morning, getting ready for the ultimate rainbow connection. The Albuquerque Museum posted this photo right here yesterday, showing crews putting the finishing touches on the traveling exhibit, showcasing the work of Muppet creator Jim Henson. The traveling exhibit includes puppets, behind-the-scenes footage, and a whole lot more. The exhibit arrives on November 23rd. Now let's get a look at the morning drive. The maps are looking nice and green right now. And take a look from Tracker heading south on I-25 near the Big Eye. Some cars out there, but moving at pretty good speeds. An Albuquerque artist says his rare talent is a perfect solution for your holiday portrait. Since posting his work on Facebook, Hannibal Sanchez says people are asking for art on everyone, from celebrities to family and even pets. The custom portraits cost 30 bucks. For requests, we did post a link for you at alwaysonkrqe.com. This year, a New Mexico family is saving a turkey from becoming a Thanksgiving tradition after there would be dinners now with the family pet. Addie Haynes says this turkey named Thanksgiving showed up in the spring and, and instantly connected with her kids. The family says instead of eating turkey this year, they're going to be having beef instead. Well, there you go. Yeah.